I've been to one Disney park, uh, Disney Paris, and when I was there, it never once occurred to me to actually go and see a show. I just feel like if I'm going to a theme park, at least if it's for a limited amount of time, I'd rather be outdoors and enjoying the rides and the atmosphere rather than sitting in what is probably a cramped theatre. However, I still want to watch the shows that are available and some people decide to upload them to YouTube and that was certainly the case with Mickey's Filar Magic. And this is actually a 4D attraction. Obviously watching it um, on YouTube you don't get the full effect. But it's absolutely beautiful and I mainly watched this to see what they were going to do with the songs, what songs they would choose and what the accompanying animation would be. And it is stunning. This is absolutely beautiful. If I remember, I will link to the version I watched on YouTube. If I forget to link, please feel free to remind me. And basically it starts off with Mickey conducting an orchestra, but things go wrong. Donald is not where he should be. And suddenly Donald finds himself in the scenes of a lot of popular classic Disney songs. But... They have been 3 dized they have been improved and it's quite fascinating to see these scenes that we know and love but in a modern version. Now I don't like the more modern 3D effect for Disney, I prefer the classic animations and it is a shame when some of the newer films are not like that but with films that I loved brilliant to see them in a new light and the, song, the the music themselves the music themselves the songs themselves or the music has been rendered slightly differently as well so it's a way to experience these songs that we know and love in a completely fresh way so i will of course talk about the songs um it doesn't play each song in full i think the full thing's about 12 minutes and there is a decent number of songs in this and it starts off with be our guest from Beauty and the Beast and um, you know Donald finds himself there with Lumiere singing the song and it's lovely. I love that recording of it. Then it hops straight into The Sorcerer's Apprentice from Fantasia. Very, very brief. It's a couple of seconds really and it's the scene with the um, broomsticks and yeah, seeing the broomsticks in 3D is definitely one of the strongest contrasts if you look at that against the animated version. Um, that for me was a bit peculiar and it's kind of an intimidating scene. One bit that I did love though. The next song is Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. Now I, I'm not the biggest fan of The Little Mermaid but I do like the soundtrack and I don't want to spoil too much but I will say Donald is wearing a hat and Ariel at one point while singing picks up his hat and interacts with it. So it's not just Donald observing 3D versions of songs that we love or scenes with songs that we love. It's, it has been modified to fit in with this narrative of Donald Duck not being where he should be and interacting with these different Disney characters and I think that that is so lovely and I just thought that moment where Ariel picked up his hat uh, and, and interacted with it was, was really lovely, kind of breaking the fourth wall a bit, mixing the worlds. I really enjoyed it. We get a snapshot look at Simba Simba in 3D is stomachable, actually. Um, not as cute as the animated drawing, but I really liked it. It's I just can't wait to be king. Really engaging. One of my favourite moments was where Donald was trapped in between all of the animals. I found it very entertaining. The version of You Can Fly from Peter Pan, I didn't really care for, mainly because the animation of Peter Pan is one of my favourites, particularly with the pink onesie uh, or baby girl that the youngest darling child wears. Um, is that John or Michael? Whichever of the two is the youngest. I just love his animation style. So for me it wasn't that engaging but it felt a lot more magical and that was definitely um, something to write home about. I guess literally in this sense if you're there for a long time. Then we skip through to the final main classic film song, which is A Whole New World. Very brief, very short, didn't seem to last very long. And then we jump into the Mickey Mouse Club March, which is a lot more high energy than the classic version. But unfortunately, it's a lot more. If I had my way, they would have played the whole Mickey Mouse Club March because I absolutely love it. It is a good mash of songs. Apparently also you get um, Unpoco Loco from Coco 
in some of the newer ones I wasn't bothered that the version I watched didn't have that because I haven't even seen the film I know I know terrible Disney fan um, but I feel like it's really out of place as well like it's not a classic at least not presently maybe one day so I feel like I don't know why they made that decision to put it in there or why they decided to put that in there over say Frozen um, I'm not really sure but certainly watching it online was an absolutely magical journey. I'm so thankful for the person who shared it. Whether or not they should is a different question. It doesn't make me want to go to Disney to see things in the theme park. I'm not the type of person to go to, go to a theme park for two weeks. I prefer to be in different locations and explore different areas. So when I do go to a theme park, my time is limited. And most of the time I want to spend it you know, on the rides or at the other attractions not sitting indoors and plus it's usually swelteringly hot it was when I went to Paris being indoors would not have been a nice experience this one is magical I wasn't sure what to expect I did just assume it would just be like a, a screening I guess of the songs with Mickey conducting an animated orchestra it's so much more than that it's an absolute achievement seeing it in 4D would be pretty impressive I have to say it's not amazing enough to make me want to go and see it in 4D but certainly if you have time to kill and you have the opportunity I'd say it would be well worth it